Welcome back, guys. As uh, a Ford Air Flight 915 pulls out with a full complement of 79 passengers on board. Um, I've got, first of all, I've got something to say. Right, these drinks machines. These drinks machines. Uh, if I put, just pause the game for a minute while I tell you about this. Uh, these drinks machines. Where are they? i would be D for drinks, wouldn't it? Yeah, drinks machines. Um, if, if I'd have actually read this properly, it says retail staff use this machine to pour drinks. Right, these are not vending machines, so that's totally my bad. But while I was doing some research, I found out that um, it seems that ATMs and the electronics vending machines don't work either, uh, even though th those are supposed to be proper vending machines. Uh, where's the electronics one? Yeah, uh, but I watched it. I ran the game forward and and just like watched, and nobody used. I couldn't see anybody use an electronics machine or an ATM, so I'm not going to worry about it. So. Those are currently, well, let's uh, let's speed things up a bit because they should be being got rid of. Yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, here we go. And is that all of them? Yeah, I think they've all gone. I think they've all gone. So what I've got to now do, do now is sell all of these. But we get 750 uh, a piece back for these, which is not bad. Uh, ATM. Now, why can't I click on that and sell it? Okay. And why can't I click on that? Oh, I can click on that one and sell it. Why can't I click on that? Oh, I can. Ah. Huh. Okay, it's just being funny. And right, and you, and that one up there. God, this is going to get me back a fair amount of money. Get rid of you. And there was a couple over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Sell you. Oh, we'll get seventeen fifty back for the electronics vending ones. It's not what I. I mean, it's only half of what I spent on them. But hey, it's uh, it's all good money. My God, this is getting me a load of money back. Right, and you can go as well. Right, now, our um, our airline interest has gone up to like over 50%, which is pretty good news. So what we want to do now is, um, is start to fill up our schedule. Now, we have got currently only three flights. We've got one in the morning and two in the afternoon. Right, so um, so yeah, we want to get some we want to get some more going. So let's go up here and see what we've got now. Oh, and we've opened up a whole bunch more airlines, which is pretty good news. So right now, before we could do uh, anything, we need to get the the night lights going. But I can't get those going yet, and I can't uh, I can't borrow any more cash. So we are going to have to get some more flights going. So what can I do? Uh, I can get in. Let's see. I can take. Two more morning flights. You know, I've got two for the afternoon. I can take three in the morning because it's a it's a slightly larger schedule. So um, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's pick up a couple more morning flights if we can. So we've got a Galactic Point. What's that? That's an Airbus A350. Ooh, uh, the A350 is this one. That's 360 passengers. It's not one of the really big ones, but it's pretty darn good. So we'll take that. We'll accept that one. And we want one more morning flight. Well, Pacific Airlines, oh, that's a Beechcraft. That's no use. Uh, anything else? Atlantic International. Atlantic International. That's a 707. 180 passengers. Um, hang on, let's have a look at the, the schedule. That needs, af that's afternoon. That's afternoon. We've got the two arriving in the morning. Now, the, the Galactic... The Galactic Point flight, that's uh, 360 passengers. Um, that's quite a lot of passengers. Now, if we had that as like the first flight, um, could, could I take another afternoon flight? Yeah, I could I could take another afternoon flight. I could have two morning and three afternoon. Uh, what's it, WestJet, what are you? That's a 707, which is only 180 passengers. Uh, Star Flight, oh, there's a 767. Which is uh, some six seven. That's two fifty passengers, which isn't too bad. Uh, Union Air. Eh, no, that's a small one. Uh, Aerostar. You got a seven six seven in the afternoon as well. Uh, and I think that's yeah, that's all of our options, isn't it? Okay, I tell you what. Let's go with. Uh, let's see. What do I want? Yeah, da, da, da. What did I say? Starflight. Starflight 767 in the afternoon. I'm just looking at the um, the rates. 
Yeah, mind you, I took that Pacific Airlines one, didn't I? Did I? I can't. No, I didn't. Uh, let's take. What was the Union Air one? No, that's a small one. Uh, Atlantic International. No. Yeah, I, I think we'll go with this. Uh, I was going to go with the that one. No, I'm going to go with the Starflight one. It's 52%. Yeah, Starflight. 567, 767, afternoon flight, accept. Okay, so we've got another flight, so let's schedule that. Uh, let's see, well, that's, uh, that's a 777. That's uh, 250, 250. All right, so let's move you to noon. We'll have this one give you an hour separation between each of those flights. Um, could we squeeze? I wonder if we could squeeze another flight in. It would be a bit tight, but we might be able to do it with with the air with the airport running smoothly. We might be able to do it. It's cutting it tight. Um, two hours. Oh man, yeah, that's cutting it quite tight. I like to have an hour between flights, and to be honest, with um with the bigger flights, I prefer it even a little bit more. Like I'd prefer to give that like more than an hour. So fitting another flight in, tricky, tricky. Let's see, is there, I, I'll see, if, is there a good one? Is there a good one? If there's a good one, I might. And let's see, Pacific Airlines, that's a beach. No, that's no good. And the other one was Atlantic International. And that's only a seven. Nah, that'll do. We'll, we'll live with that then for now. So let's crank this up. And we'll, um, we'll see how these are kind of running. Now we've got 21,000. Now if we can get up to 25,000, Oh, boom, and boom, we've got 25,000. So what I'm going to do immediately is go over to the runway and upgrade the runway to have lights. And all you do is just position this over the runway until it lights up and boom, purchased. Right, go. And as soon as those get fitted, we can uh, we can get some night flights and then we are a 24 hour a day airport. <laughs> oh yeah. And then the next job is going to be to think about getting a second gate. Right, have you done? I think you've done. Right, let's have a look. Can we take night flights yet? Now, let's see. Well, uh, Ford Air, you've got a 767, which is 250 passengers. Yeah, Pacific Airlines, they're rubbish. Um, Starflight, you've got a 737707, relatively small. Union Air, you've got... Oh, that's a bit of a beach craft. I oh, know it's a Bombardier Dash 8, which is even smaller, I think. Yeah, Aerostar have got a couple of night flights, 767s. Maybe take those. Um, yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like. So I think... Should we take should we take these couple of Aerostar flights? Yeah, go on. Let's do it. They're worried about flight cancellations and airport room of usage. Yeah, okay, we'll take them. Boom, boom. Okay, now let's um, let's... Crack that up. Those flights aren't going to happen until the next day anyway. Uh, so let's, let's have a look at our schedule. So, let's see. How do we want to adjust this? Uh, pause for a sec while I sort this out. So, that's the earliest we can have that. Uh, we, ooh, man. Uh, ooh, yeah. I should have gone. I should have gone for, for a... I should have gone for a morning flight rather than an afternoon flight. I'd forgotten that night is relatively short. Ooh, I mean, I could be in trouble now. Because I've only got like 30 minutes between each flight. And that is really tight. Okay, well, you know what? They're there now, so... Now, I could cancel. I could cancel one of these. Uh, let's see. What are you? You're a 250. You're a 250. You're a 400. You're a 250. You're a 250. Uh, if I was going to cancel one of these, it would. I guess it would have to be that Ford Air. Oh, not good. I could cancel that Star Flight one, I guess. Um, what's scheduled for today? Uh, oh. So, we've got the two of Ford Air and the Aerostar. That's at the gate. Which is that uh, one of these two. I don't know which one it is. 
Yeah, do I do I cancel that one and get a couple more? I see. I think we I think we're going to get cancellations because they won't be able to book the gate. You know what? Let's run it for a day and we'll see. Because it's, it's kind of good to actually see it like happen. Uh, we don't want that up anymore. Right. So we've got uh, we've actually got twenty thousand in the bank, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're running on times five. Let's get through to the next day. So let's have a look. How did we do today? So we just had our three flights today. Tomorrow, we've got. Well, if I actually look at tomorrow, it'll tell me. Tomorrow, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flights scheduled. Just much more like it. Now, I I've been I've been looking at this and thinking, uh, like putting in the second gate. Now, I could just be like relatively sensible and put in my second gate there, right? But I've been thinking about it and I've been thinking, well, I could put it, I could like get rid of this and put this up there and the same like, and eventually move that one uh, up to like there, right? And have them going across here like that, which I kind of like the idea of that. Because it then allows us to expand the terminal like quite a lot in this direction. Then we'd have another runway down here with another bunch of these across here. And who knows, maybe even a, put a runway over here and have, um, have more gates down here. I think two runways is probably enough though. Oh, so, oh, first flight of the day has just arrived. Now this is uh, Galactic Point 4023. And... We're boarding. We've got 50 minutes left. Wow, we're boarding well. 15 minutes left, 10, 5 minutes left, and boom, there's everybody boarded and they're off and away. Awesome. Already got passengers arriving for the next flight. Let's have a look at status. That's departed. Oh, the next one is coming in now. Here it comes. We've already got people in the queue ready to board. Boarding's not for another 30 minutes. And we've got, I think we've got pretty much everybody standing in lines. Only 55 to board. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. And that's it. And that thing's off on time. That's really nice. Things are working very smoothly. Working very well. So that's departed. This one's en route. Now, this is a 767. This is a, a, a big-ish plane it's not one of the really big ones but it's, it's big ish it'll do you know if we don't have any cancellations today i'm going to be really impressed it's the 777 that's the one that's going to cause us problems i think because that thing is like what 400 passengers or something oh they're all ready and uh, we've got 90 standing in line already we've got another 20 minutes 100 in line they're virtually all in line before boarding starts, which is great. Here come the last few. Ten minutes left. And we're a f only a couple of minutes over. And that thing's going to be taking off almost bang on time. Well, it was waiting to take off at three, so that was good. Next flight's coming in. This is uh, another 767. 177 passengers this time. Maximum capacity, 250. Here we go, 100 on boarded, 30 minutes left, 20, 10, and come on, come on, where are the slackers? Come on, get on, get on board. Now, uh, some people are going to miss that flight. Yeah, seven people missed that flight. Ah! Well, you shouldn't have been hanging around out here. Idiots. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, it's now, you see? Because that was late, this flight couldn't reserve the gate and it cancelled. And that costs us money. Yeah, we are uh, pause. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to change one of those flights. Let's have a look at our schedule. So we've got we've got space in the morning for a flight. We just need to move one of these. So it's either a Ford Air Star flight. Uh, I, I want to keep that. 777 because that's 400 people so I think well it's it's one of, let's get rid of Starflight so yes it's gonna cost me six thousand to cancel right so having got rid of that 
We can move this earlier. Let's give ourselves an hour and a half on that one. Move that forward, and that leaves us with room for another morning flight. Yeah, because, like, that's what? That's, that's 360 passengers. I wouldn't mind an extra half hour on that one. So, yeah, it's going to be tight. Maybe an extra 15 minutes on that one. Yeah, I think we could squeeze another one in. Let's do it. So, we want another morning flight. Pacific Airlines. That's Beechcraft. Uh, you. Let's try. That's, a, that's only a 707, though. Really? That's the only morning flights we've got. Well, it's going to have to be Atlantic International, then. Oh, man. Only 180 passengers. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Um, accept. It's all cash at the end of the day. Right, what am I doing? So I want to get rid of that. So, now do I have... I don't know. I'm, now, I think I'll have that as the first flight. Then we've got the Afford Air. We'll give that an extra 15 minutes. These will have 45 minutes each. Oh, no, that's 45, that's 45 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, that's 45 minutes. Then we've got hour, hour. Hour, 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 hour. hour. And that one could be moved back to there. So, yeah, we've got an hour gap between all our flights apart from there. Now, that one is... That's only 180. That's 180. Yeah, boarding 180 with an extra 45 minutes. Yeah, we should be okay. Right, let's do that. Let's do that. And we'll see how we get on tomorrow. Oh, there's a few people who missed their flight. Well, tough. Tough, frankly. It's your own fault. Yeah, we're getting money coming in from the vending machines. Let's have a look how things are going over here generally. I think we want some more ticketing kiosks. Yeah, we're going to put some more ticketing kiosks in, I think. And I might even put some more ticket desks in. Yeah, let's see. Objects. Do, 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 do. And ticketing desks. Where are you? T, ticketing desks. Now... Uh, so should I put should I have a couple of more ticket desks? Yeah, go on, what the hell? Ticket desk, ticket desk. And then I want now this this queue here, if I'm putting that like that, I'm really tempted to change this queue. Um now nah, you know what, it's been working fine up until this point. <clears throat> I'll grab a couple more staff. So let's have uh, you and you. Right, so we've got all our people. Excellent. Uh, we need to assign that. Oh, no, I'll tell you what I could do. I could do something special for first class. Uh, it's kind of an idea. No, no, I'm not going to do anything for first class yet. Uh, assign that to... What the hell? Let's try that again. Assign to... Why can't, oh, is it like too far away from there or something? Sign to... No, I can't assign it. Oh, man, is that really too far away from there? Well, apparently it is. All right, well, in that case... Yeah, oh, in that case, I've got to move the freaking... Oh, good Lord. Oh, that's a nuisance. Um, see, you, what you can't do is you can't shrink it that way. You can only shrink it from the end. Really? It, seriously? I can't... Assign to? No, I can't assign it to there. That one I can. Okay. So, yeah, that's just going to have to be moved back a bit. Oh, well. Well, well, it is what it is. Don't complain about it, Sky. It is what it is. Cues. Uh, shrink queue. So, let's take that back all the way. Get rid of that queue. So we want a new queue, well, come on, new queue, which will, I guess we'll start in the middle then. So there. Um, so just up to there then. And then to there and back to there. Uh, actually, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit because people are standing outside the doors. Why don't we bring it back to like there? Yeah. Now, it may be that this queue's too short and I need to extend it like across the whole length or something. We'll see. We'll see how we how we manage with that. Let's get um, let's get some more of these ticketing things in. What are they called? Uh, ticketing kiosks. 
Let's have ticketing kiosks. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, well, let's just put another three in for now. Let's keep it neat for now. All right, go. Oh, I need to assign all these, don't I? Yeah. Uh, assign to there. Assign to there. Assign to there. You assign to there. And you, Bush, and you. Right, let's check on our flight status. Oh, Starflight reneged on this flight. Which isn't very nice of them. But everything else is okay. Well, the first... The first two are okay. This one's coming in. We'll see. We'll see if we have any cancellations because of being unable to reserve the gate. And we'll keep an eye on this star flight. So, if... Well, 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 stop that. Now, I don't know whether that's a personal... Uh, a permanent cancellation. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Schedule. Yeah, they've, they've cancelled that completely. So... We want another. Uh, we want another morning flight, don't we? Oh, it would be. I know. Have we got any? That's the thing. I don't know why they reneged that flight. I don't really kind of don't understand that. Now the only flight we've got available is like a Beechcraft, and I'm not taking that. Uh, Yeah, having another afternoon flight doesn't work. It needs to be another morning flight. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. How is this working? This is working pretty nicely at the moment. There's a lot of people using these vending machines. I might put some more vending machines in. Yeah, what do I want? I want objects and food vending. Here we go. Uh, let's flip you around. Let's, uh, let's put a couple more food vending machines in. And on there, up, oh, flip, out, on there. You could put one, flip you around. I suppose that's kind of in the way, though, of people. I don't, know. I don't want to be in their way. Uh, what about in here? I think we've got enough in here. So we want to do other things. Let's have a look at our heat maps. Right, uh, environment heat map. Yeah, we need a lot more decoration around the place because the place isn't like that nice. It's okay, but it's not that nice. So let's get uh, let's get some some of these nice decorative bushes put around the place. So I'm thinking, peer around. Uh, yeah. Let's have. Couple on the end of here. Flip it around again. Now I'll do the same on this side. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Right, um, let's have a look at the heat map again. You can see how that's in, that's very much improved things along here. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do, and this is why I left a gap in between these is I want, where are we, decorative bush, I'm going to put some decorative bushes in between these ticketing desks, and put a couple more in there, and where is the fl electronic, uh, flight info display, I'm going to put another flight info display in there, um, you know what, Let's flip you around to a flight info display there. And we'll have a flight info display there. And I'm thinking, like, maybe we have some flight info. Well, we've got one there. I could put another one in. Yeah, we'll have another one there. And I'm going to put one there and one... Oh, I can't fit one there. That's a shame. I can't... Why can't I put it there? Well, I can't, and that's the other. Now, I do need some more security guards. And since we've got, like, a fair amount of money, I'm going to put some extra security in. So, let's see where let's see where these guys go. You're going to go to there. Okay, that's fine. Now, they are using these without having 
staff manning them, but they should have staff manning them. So I am going to have staff manning them. One, two, three, and four. And I should have staff manning the metal detectors, as, metal detectors as well. So guess what? I'm going to do that as well. One, two, three, four. Because it's kind of like not having a security guard next to there. I mean, it's. I'm sure it's not meant to work like that, and it's just a bit cheaty, so. Um, cool. All right, so I think we're doing fairly okay right now. Let's have a look at our status. How are we doing? So other than that one that was reneged on by the airline, because they're horrible and nasty to us, um, everything else today is working okay. How was yesterday? Yesterday we had that one flight reneged by the airline. But, and tomorrow, tomorrow we're looking okay. We still need that one extra flight to fill our flight schedule. Yeah, well, okay, right. Well, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Is there, is there anything else that I want to do kind of like around the place? Um, we could carpet this area, which wouldn't be a bad idea. How about that? Uh, build, and it's floor one, this floor type. have some flooring in there because it's a bit horrible at the moment now we could put in another uh, another baggage claim we don't like we don't desperately need it everything I, I've got to say everything is working remarkably smoothly how's this plane doing 197 passengers 20 minutes left and boom that boarded ahead of schedule Impressive. We got almost a hundred thousand in the bank. B E A beautiful. Love the way this is working. Okay, let's uh, well let's get aggressive then. So what do I want to do? I want to demolish those. That's the first thing. Here come our guys. Yep, get rid of that. There goes the plane. The plane, boss! The plane! I wonder how many of you get that reference. And what do we want to put in? I want to put in a new large gate. Right, I need to flip this round so it's pointing the right way. And that's going to go in there. Cha-ching. Right, so they're going to build that. So, obviously... I'm just looking at this and thinking, is there, are there better ways to do the gates and things? So, like, I'm just wondering, like, well, if you had that there, and then you had, like, a terminal building coming out here, could you have, like, two gates on either side or something? I don't know. You could probably do it with, like, the smaller gates. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so how the hell do I want to do this? I want uh, foundations. Uh, bum, bum, bum. How do I want to do this? Now, if I had this going up and down rather than side to side, then how wide would I need this? I'd want to come out. So we've got four there. One, two. Yeah. So I'd probably want it eight. Now, what do we do about restrooms? That's a very good point. Do I have like a central restroom thing? Of thinking that maybe we do. So, <clears throat> so we're gonna. So that's that's four. One, two, three. That's four wide. So we at least want to start there. Uh, I'm thinking oh, one, two, three, four. If I start there, and then go one, two, three, four. So that's thirteen. So if I if I do thirteen wide I need 130,000 to do that good grief new buildings are really really expensive okay uh, let's try something scaled down a little bit I, st I still don't think I'll be able to afford this but we'll give it a try and what about if I did it so I'd want one two three four what about if I did it ten wide nope still can't afford it 
Yowzers. Um, I tell you what we should do. We should do some research. This is a very good point. Uh, operations. Let's research operations. We're going to have to get a COO implemented. Now, what are we making now? We're making 84,000 a day. Now, what I could do is I could pay off some of the bank balance. Do I do, do, I do that? You know what? I'm going to decrease the loan. Save a bit of money. That's got to be a sensible idea. I'm sure I'm sure some of you were saying that. Pay your loan off. Pay your loan off, Sky. Stop slacking. Right, there goes that. Um, but of course it means that we're going to have to wait to buy this blooming extra gate over here. Which is holding us up. So I'm probably going to end up borrowing that extra money back. But like if I can save the 5000 for a day... And it's worth doing. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to do. This drop-off, but because they drop off in the middle of this zone, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Let's have a look. Uh, what do I want? Zones. Um, let's bring this down so it's like there. So that it's dropping off like right outside the door. So they haven't got to walk so far. Oh, there you go. See? And they're like straight in. I think that's a good idea. Now, with pickups, it kind of doesn't matter. I don't care how long it takes for them to get home. So I might end up moving the the deliveries and the garbage up here or something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know whether the garbage has, like, a major negative impact. Now, look, you can see the bags of garbage are starting to fill this up. So what we can put in here is a dumpster. And uh, Where's dumpsters? Dumpsters, dumpsters, dumpsters. Oh, here it is. Um, each each dumpster will hold ten bags of garbage, so it's um, it increases your capacity quite substantially. How much do these cost? They're two thousand each. What? Okay, uh, I'm going to put one in. Boom. Here's the garbage truck. Yeah, how's our research doing? Oh, operations completed. Right, we can hire a COO now. So let's hire a COO. Uh, staff. COO. There you go. And he's into his office. You having a nice time? You're just going to stand over there. You're going to sit in your chair? No? She's been... Somebody's nailed her to the wall. Probably an irate staff member. I haven't been paid this month. Boof. Flattened against the wall. It's been crucified. Crucifixion. <laughs> no, we're not going there. Um, we can now do road building, which would actually be quite a good thing to do. We can upgrade our buses eventually. We've done bank loans, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Well, let's do road building then, I suppose. It's going to cost us 16000 though. Good Lord. All right, well, let's do it. The, the cash is kind of rolling in. We're up to 52%. Has that opened up any more flights? What do I want? I wanted a morning flight, star flight. They're the ones who reneged, aren't they? Starflight. Um, oh, they've got an, em an Embraer 195, which is a small plane there. Yeah, it's only 90 passengers. I don't really want that. Uh, a Ford Air, I've got a 737 in the morning. It's only 140 passengers, but it's like it's better than... Oh, Galactic Point have got a couple. Oh! Oh, an Airbus 380! Ooh, Airbus 380 or a 747 uh, and they're like 525 passengers each oh I've got to look at the schedule first because yeah. we've got that one that's only 360 that's a 707 oh man two hours our gap. I could maybe narrow that to 45 minutes. I'm going to take one. I'm going to... Where yeah, am I? That's going to be tight. We don't want cancellations. That's the thing. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Um, it was Galactic Point, wasn't it? Oh, that's... That is a big flight. That's a lot of people to get boarded. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take it. So I'm going to access... I have the, um, the A380. We're going to go with that, but we're going to have to change some stuff. So, schedule. Um, 
Right, so we'll have 45 minutes after that. That's only 180 people, so that shouldn't really be a problem. We'll move that 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. What's how many? P that's 250 passengers. That's 400. That's 250. Let's just look at our status. How have we been doing? Let's have a look at yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, all our flights got away. We didn't have any cancellations. So, like, is an hour enough? 525. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. No, I'm going to give it the extra 15 minutes. Give it the extra 15 minutes. Err on the side of caution. All right. Uh, but if we're going to do that, we're going to make. Oops. Stop it. We're going to make. Uh, we're going to make some changes. I think. And the first change. Pause. The first change we're going to make. We're going to put in. Where are we? A gate. I'm going to put in another gate agent there. Go. Oh, no, I didn't want to follow you. Thanks very much. Come on. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to hire a staff member. There we go. And then you, if I can get it. Oh, come on. No, I don't want the passenger. I want that. There we go. Assign to that, and we want to assign to this queue. Right, so now we've got two gate staff to process people through here. So hopefully, that should go pretty quickly. Yeah, they're going round there. Oh, man, that's not really what we want. Let's have a look. Zero minutes left. I think that's actually slowed things down. Seriously, I think that actually slowed things down. Yeah, I'm not happy with that arrangement. Pause. Uh, maybe if we change the queue so that the queue comes to here, and then they can go either go to that desk or they can go to that desk. What do you think? Yeah. I think that might make sense. Let's just try it. Let's try it. So queues. Shrink queue. Oh, come on. Let's take this down here. Down here. Around there. Okay, let's try that again. So, queue. Oh, I can always forget that it's still open. So let's do it from there. And from there or... No. Let's do it from there then. So we want to go to there, back up there, there, and there. Alright, we'll give that a try. So we want to assign that to this queue, assign that desk to this queue. Alright, go. Let's see how we do with that. So our next flight's going to be coming in fairly soon. Where are we? Status today. Yep. It's just a 707. It'd be a good test. Where are you? Here it comes. So, 215 passengers. We've got 90 standing in line. Boarding starts in 20 minutes. 15, 10. We've got most of them standing in line. Now, how are they going to be processed? what you think but that looks like it's processing slower than it was when I just had one gate agent that's crazy how did we get everybody on board 214 we missed one uh, but let's see it's eight o'clock now when is that supposed to take off let's look at us so this is supposed to depart yeah hang on first flight of the day uh, this is supposed to depart at 6. And it's not departing until 8. Really? Which flight? Let's, let's mouse over and see. This is Galactic Point. Yeah, that's 4023. That is supposed to depart at, at 6 o'clock. <laughs> and it's not taking off until 8. 
Uh, so this flight, supposed to arrive at 7.15, it's not arriving until 8 o'clock. That's kind of weird. Okay, it's out the gate. So, let's see. 15 minutes left. We've got virtually everybody in the queue. I don't know about having these two desks. It, it doesn't seem to seem to work as well. So you're going to take off. Right, so this, this is uh, Galactic Point 5589, which is this one, which is this huge Airbus 380. Uh, now that's supposed to arrive at 10. It's arriving at 10.25. Okay. So you were supposed to take off at 9.15 and you're leaving at like 10.30. These are big. Now, 300 passengers to process. Let's have a look at this. And you can see why I need such a big queue. When you've got these big planes, they need a big queue. Come on, you lot. Get into the queue. Get yourself sorted out. We're processing them through. How are we doing? Uh, we've boarded 200. We've got 20 minutes left. We've still got 40 people to board. And we got them all. 292. Alrighty. And that takes off at 3 o'clock. Let's have a look. That was the Airbus, wasn't it? Yeah, that's departing. Ah, uh, yeah. It, see, it took too long. And this got cancelled because the gate wasn't free. Damn it. So that needs more time. Now, that was what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. So let's have a look at the schedule. So it's um, three o'clock. Oh, wait, it's this one, isn't it? The Airbus 380. Yeah, we need more time. Now, I could maybe steal 15 minutes there. 15 minutes. Now, if we take it down to, like, you only get 45 minutes, then I could steal... Uh, let's see. That gives us an hour and 45 minutes extra. Okay, well, let's try that for the next day. So, so let's see. So, uh, fly 894 should be 145. Tomorrow. Fly... Oh, it doesn't give you the flight number, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> um, I'm going to work out which one it is now. So, it's the, it's the afford air. So, it's this one. Yeah, it's now scheduled for 145. Yeah, I mean, we'll see if that's enough time. It's it's cutting it a bit fine. How much cash we got? We've got 135,000, which means we can just about afford to build this terminal building. Right, let's do it. Let's go foundations. And I was just going to do it like 10 wide, wasn't I? So if we do it like that. 100,000. Good lord. Okay, well let's do it. Uh, we want to make this bigger. Uh, I could probably manage with just taking it like that far, say. Ooh, man, I need more money. I need more money. Here we go. You just brought me another load of passengers. Another load of cash. What are you? 767. 130 passengers. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, they're getting our new belt gate built. Sweet. Uh, now, I definitely want a large sliding door. There. So that's that. All right. Okay, we're going to clear some of these walls when when they actually finish building all of this. So we've got that in fine. Um, bum, 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 bum. Now the, the question with the gates is: Do I transfer the flights from this gate to this gate? Right and get that all sorted out and then move this 
over here and then get the second gate functional and then take on the flights for the second gate. I think that's probably the sensible way to do it, even though, like, from a profit perspective, I'd be better off just, like, get two gates working, get the cash coming in from that, and then maybe do a third one and then move that. Yeah, I, yeah, see, now I say it, seems to make a huge amount of sense. Let's clear this. So where are we? Uh, bu -bu -bu clear, let's clear that. We'll get some uh, we'll get some carpeting in and stuff like that. There isn't like huge variety of colours and things, is there? It's all very neutral. I'm quite see. I like to have like like lines that kind of guide you through. How are we doing? Oh, I think we could do more with more ticketing machines. There's there's a bit quite a queue building up there, isn't there? All right, let's have uh, let's have some more ticketing machines. I, I'm going to change this queue again slightly. I was just looking at this queue and thinking, you know what? I'm going to change that queue because there's it, the queue. It doesn't seem to be backing up that much, so I'm going to actually shrink that queue down to like that. It's probably a, like a really bad idea, but... Oh, hang on a second. Hang, uh, hang on a second. If I... Let's do this a different way. If I take that back to there, so we want to be there. So if I start there, go that way, then go... Uh, up there. And then come back to there. Yeah, that works better. And then what I can do is go to objects, go to the ticketing kiosks. Uh, let's let that, oh, I've got to reassign all of those to the queues, damn it. Uh, let's go to the ticketing kiosks. And what we can do, if I flip these around, flip, flip, we can get another row of these in here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, which has just doubled our capacity. P -p 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 uh, I want to assign you to there, and you assign you to there and this one and you uh, sign and you sign to there and you sign to there go we seem to be a person short let's get a let's get another member of staff in and yeah oh no what were they taking a break or something yeah, we've, we've got one too many now. You. All right, we'll fire. Fire you. Oh, look, we've got a, <laughs> we've got a very short person there. Shouldn't laugh at short people. At least not when they can hear you. Uh, I'm going to get so many comments about that now. It was a joke, guys. It was a joke. Good heavens. Right, let's uh, let's keep working on this. So what do I want? I, uh, well, I want build for a start because I want to put some carpet in. So we'll put uh, a nice bit of carpet down there. And a nice bit of carpet there. Uh, oh, nice bit of carpet there and a nice bit of carpet there. Now, see, what I really want to do is extend this. But I can't afford to at the moment. So I'm just going to have to kind of live with how it is at the moment. All right. Well. Now, how is this working? Like, seriously, I, I could be wrong, but I thought it was working better when we only had one desk. It seems to be processing so much slower now. I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Now, let's see. Let's have a look at our status. Uh, no. No. We've had two flights that were cancelled because they couldn't reserve the gate. Yeah, I swear to God that that has slowed everything down. You know what? I'm going to take that out. Dismantle. And you, you're fired. Where are you? If I can click on him. Oh, no, 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 you don't. You don't escape. You, you're fired. Get out. I'm going to watch the next flight and see if they go in faster with just one desk. Because it, it sure as hell looked like it to me. Yep, let's assign to that and assign to that. What the hell are they doing? 
What on earth is going on? Is it the way that I've changed? What on? I am going to change it back to exactly the way it was before because it was working fine before, and now it's just like screwy. Up there and back up there. <sighs> wow, weird. Right, assign to this queue. Right, let's let's watch the next flight. And of course, it's the middle of the night now, so we've got to wait till the next morning. Well, mind you, we don't have to wait that long because the next flight is like pretty early. Um, we want. Yeah, close it out. Oh, yeah, we will be today. Right, so today, Galactic Point is en route. Should arrive at four. It's three thirty. Nobody queuing up yet. Oh, here they go. Start to queue. If this works better, I'm going to be like just like fairly staggered. Right, how are we doing? Uh, boarding starts in 20 minutes. 10. Now let's have a look. Well, it's certainly working a lot better than it was when we had the, the thing over here. Like, seriously, that's boarded. It's like really nicely. Well, it seems to have boarding for the next flight. Well, let's see. Let's see how we get on with with just leaving it like this. I think we'll probably still end up with a cancellation on that uh, on that Airbus. And it, and if that flight is if that's causing the next flight to be regularly cancelled, then the better thing to do is just get rid of it because it's actually costing us money. Every flight cancellation costs us like 11,000 or something. One person missed that flight by the look of it. Right, you are... Okay, this is the big one. So, the people are queuing up. We start boarding. We've got 250, 260. 100... 100 130 minutes left. Really? I'll bet you the next one's going to cancel. I'll bet you any money. Here they go. So we're almost we're almost boarded. We've got 30 minutes left. Yeah, look at this. Failed to reserve gate. Yeah, that's not enough time. Damn. So yeah, okay. Well, what can what can we do schedule wise? So, an hour and an hour and forty-five minutes isn't enough. Now I can I can maybe uh, I don't know. I mean, I can maybe shuffle these up to half an hour, which would give us an extra. Well, that's the most I can give it. I can give it an extra forty-five minutes. That is the limit. But we risk these bit. We risk having a cancellation of one of these. Uh, let's let it run and see how we do with the rest of the flights in the day. Because we had one of the other ones cancelled as well. And I've just made the time window even smaller. Which I don't think is going to work. I think we're going to have to get rid of that Airbus 380 and get something a little bit smaller. Like a 767 would work. Come on, come on, get in there. I mean, the alternative is that I have like multiple queues and stuff like that. Here we go. Oh, hang on a second. Did you cancel or did you not cancel? Maybe it didn't cancel. Oh, that's delayed. Fail to reserve. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, hang on. It didn't cancel. Oh, now it's cancelled. Yeah. It's not enough time. It's not enough time. Oh, man. 
cancellations really hurt. I don't like cancellations. Look at all these unfortunate people had their flight cancelled. Oh, I feel for them. I really do. Well, we need to uh, we need to spread our flights out. Um, we're gonna. Ha I think we're just gonna have to get rid of that air that Airbus 380 because it's it's causing us just a nightmare. So yes, remove it. So that was. Um, we want another morning flight, don't we? Let's see if we can pick up another morning flight. Aerostar, you've got a you've got a 777. Now, 777 is 400 passengers. Uh, I wonder, could we do that? 400 passengers, a hell of a lot less. That's 20% less passengers. You know what, we'll try it. We'll try it. So, let's take that. We'll see if we can fit that into our schedule. So, we've got the Galactic Point. Now that's working fine with like an hour and 15 minutes and that's 360 passengers. So I reckon if we give this one, let's give that an hour. And then that's got like, let's like, let's give it like uh, an hour and a half. If we give that an hour and a half, in fact that's an hour and 45 minutes. If we give that an hour and a half, then this can have... Uh, these can go back to 45 minutes each. Right, let's try that. Let's try that. Go. Oh, man. Don't you just love this kind of thing with this kind of scheduling? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a pain for, to watch me do it, but I love doing stuff like this. All right, well, let's see if we can get through a day without a cancellation. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? All right. Okay, let's go over here. So, what are we going to do? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do some research on these on these desks and see what the best way to is it with multiple queues and multiple desks or something. I'm thinking it probably is. So, but I don't know. Let's see. What do we want? Uh, where is it? Gate oh, guy agent desk. Um, I I'm seriously thinking like. Like, should I do like two? All the way up there. All the way down there. All the way up there. Now that should enable us to queue up quite a lot of people and process them like twice. I mean, well, hopefully twice as fast, but I'm not convinced. Like, I'm really not convinced. Uh, let's assign you to there. Oops, come on. Assign you to there and assign you to both of these queues. Uh, no, just that queue. And then, go away. And then this one, we want to assign you to this gate and that queue. Okay. So that's all. That's all ready to rock and roll, isn't it? How much cash we got? One hundred forty-four thousand. We could seriously think about extending this now. Bring this down here. Very tempted to do that. I'm seriously thinking about extending that a little bit as well to give the, the exiting passengers a, a bit more space. I don't know. Maybe I should just see how it works for now. Right. How are we doing on the flights for today? Status. Um, that was reneged on by the air. So that's departed, 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 departed. Any cancellations? No, we haven't had any cancellations today. Ha, 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 ha. So it freaking works. Why am I putting two desks? Mind you, I'm putting two desks in with two queues. So maybe that will work better. All right, uh, let's see. It's uh, I want to reschedule these for the next day. What, okay, what I want to do now is move these flights to gate two. I want to move all of the gates the flights to gate two. Now, if we can make that work so that gate two can board these flights without having any cancellations, then we can rework gate one in the same way, which I think would be nicer. So, yeah. And plus, if we move this back, we can make room for a much bigger security entrance into here, which we're going to need. Like, if we're going to have, like, four, four, maybe five gates, then we're going to need a, a much, much bigger security area. So, yeah, this needs to be done. Right, go. Let's see. The next day, are we going to work? We Now, we need a couple more staff. 
don't we? Yes, we do, Sky. Right, let's have uh, you and you. Oh, look at them. Very smiley. Very smiley, happy girls. Somebody's going to, you know, somebody's going to leave me a comment and say they're not getting off their women. Or put their people, persons. Persons of a female gender. Oh, seriously. <sighs> um, now. Okay, that's from the previous, that's a takeoff from the previous day, isn't it? Must be. That's Aerostar 6694. Yeah, that's the last one. Yeah, it's a couple of hours late, but that's fine. Right, so the next, the next flight should go from here. So it shouldn't be here, it should be here. So come on, come on, get yourselves over here. Nope, you're completely lost. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> the man said I should come over this way. He did talk like that, I, I, I know him. That's exactly how he talks. Right, here we go. Oh, they are using both cues. And they're both using, they're using both cues equally. How are we doing? Okay, they're ploughing down there. Down the side. Yeah, that definitely needs to be a bit wider. Right, how, uh, how are we doing? Boarding. Yeah, that seems to be working okay, actually, with two cues. How are we doing? Uh, two. 21. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, slackers. And... Come on. There we go. One person missed their flight. Where are you? Okay, now the question is, did the, did the next flight get cancelled? No, it made it. So we managed to process that 777, got the next one in, and we're working with the new terminal, which means that we're now in a position to, to wipe out this gate, reposition it. Um, I'm probably going to think about moving the baggage first. We'll see. So there you go. We'll leave it there for this episode. Man, I freaking love this game. This is so good. I cannot wait until we've got, like... A whole bunch of gates up here and then second runway whole bunch of gates down here and like the whole routing thing for the exiting but like the um, the passengers who are leaving oh by the way just like for those people who like left comments um the arrivals departures is ridiculously complicated because you arrive at an airport to depart yeah so when you arrive yes you arrive and you go to departures when you <laughs> when you fly back in and you arrive then yeah, then you go to arrivals to leave. <laughs> it, yes, it's like talking about cricket. It's that confusing. Um, but yeah, so when you, when you get to the airport, you go to departures. And when you when you fly into an airport, you, you go out through arri uh, arrivals. So yeah, very complicated. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to say? I don't think so. I am loving this. Leave me a comment. I will catch you for the next episode. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, genuinely, because I hope, I hope we play this for a while. I'll catch you for the next one, guys. Peace out.